Everybody, Earl at the logbook.com back for more voyages of shelf discovery. And we are doing some more shuttle diplomacy, but in this instance, we are totally crossing the streams. So we have um, a couple of new Eagle Moss ships that I actually ordered in the interval between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is when Eagle Moss runs a huge number of specials on stuff. And the the funny thing about that is, you know, of course, I'm sure some of it is supply chain issues. Some of them were pre-orders. And so not all of the Eagle Moss stuff that I got has reached me yet. But these two have. These two have. And they are both um, shuttles in their respective sci-fi franchises. Um, one of them is the Matt Jeffries concept for the USS Enterprise shuttlecraft, which is, you know, we're all very familiar with the very kind of boxy shuttlecraft Galileo that, uh, you know, not only has its own merch and its own models, it had its own episode. That's That's what a big deal it was for the Galileo to finally happen. But the other one, the other shuttle, is from the Orville. And um, it is the standard issue Orville shuttle. Which, the funny thing is, um, this puppy may have just become outdated. And we'll talk about that um, after we open it up and take a look. The, um, ah, there we go. Very gently peel that off so we don't uh, don't damage the packaging. This is um, not the kind of packaging I'm used to from Eagle Moss because this is a yeah you know, this is more of a traditional retail style box. The the kind of packaging I'm used to from Eagle Moss is. Um, I don't know how you want to put it. It's meant to be shipped. It's not really meant to be in a store because you have the magazine separate from the model itself in the case of this uh, Matt Jeffries concept shuttlecraft. Um, this one, the magazine is in the box. It's a very retail-friendly box. And the magazine is tiny. It's... It's so little because it has to fit in that box, which um, I have a feeling. Let me confirm this. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need reading glasses on for this. So um, I love the magazines that come with the Eagle Moss ships. This one I'm going to have to set aside. Sorry. I will, yeah, as much as I would love to regale you with factoids on the spot about the the Orville shuttlecraft, um... I'm just going to have to read that at a later date and find out for myself. So, uh, very much like the traditional uh, Star Trek packaging, this is kind of like a two-layered clamshell arrangement here. And I, I rapidly run out of places to put things. And you kind of uh, kind of pull her out, and it's a very nice model. I mean, I'm kind of looking at the detail through the camera as I'm doing this very <laughs> rudimentary 360 turnaround for you. This is the first time I've had this out of the box. It's a, it's a very nice little model. It's got some heft to it. Um, you know, there's no... Uh, there's no reason for it to actually not be a single piece. So, as typical, you have a... This is more of a cradle style of um, stand, which is interesting. And, of course, you have the, the traditional weighted base that... Uh, 
comes with the Eagle Moss models and is a good contributing factor to not only keeping them on the shelf, but it is a deterrent for you putting them on a shelf where they are likely to fall off and land on your toe. Don't ask me how I know this. Alright, so you place the cradle on the weighted base and it looks to me like there is really only one way for this to go and it kinda oh wow it holds it very snugly and so there you have the shuttlecraft from the Orville now the interesting thing about uh, you know talking about shuttlecraft from the Orville is that a tweet was recently sent out by Doug Drexler, who, now, who uh, formerly of Deep Space Nine, who uh, now works on um, the Orville, formerly of Deep Space Nine and Enterprise, I should say. Sorry, Doug. Um, and the picture tweeted shows a, a new shuttlecraft design that we will presumably be seeing in the third season of the Orville, which, of course, as you are uh, reading this, you are probably well aware that the third season has been pushed back to June, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to say it didn't completely surprise me because other shows with, shall we say, similar special effects requirements and workflows, such as... Uh, various shows in the Star Trek franchise have been impacted by COVID and having to suddenly swing post-production back to a work-at-home kind of workflow unexpectedly. Well, I say unexpectedly. Um, as many people as I see run around without masks on, um, totally expected. Okay, and here is the the fancy, very 50s sci-fi vibe from this. This is like, this is like something out of Forbidden Planet, not at all like the, uh, the very boxy um, Enterprise shuttlecraft that we are accustomed to, the Galileo. Now, Eagle Moss made it a point to, uh, for the deco on this, to say that it's shuttlecraft 5 instead of 7. So... You know, I guess if it is, you know, if it's your headcanon, you can you can make it what you want. Perhaps the Enterprise does indeed have both of these shuttle styles on board at the same time, which would not be unheard of. The Enterprise D had numerous different sizes and, you know, presumably functions of shuttles. Um, in its shuttle bay all at the same time. The uh, stand holds the wings, basically, very nicely. And also, I even going back to the original Star Trek, you know, you're, even if you're saying, oh, but we only ever saw, you know, the standard Galileo-style shuttlecraft, that's not necessarily true, because if you, once you got to the the animated series, there was the Aqua Shuttle that they suddenly had. And so, you know, it seems to me like, you know, five-year mission, they probably have every kind of shuttle they could possibly need for different mission profiles because they can't just run back to Starfleet HQ and get new ones because, oh, well, crap, we found a water planet. We weren't expecting that. So, uh, very nice... Very nice little model here. It's um Yeah, again it's it's got real heft to it. And uh very funky. You know, like I like I said, very much a fifties sci fi vibe. It's like it's like really more of a forbidden planet thing <laughs> than a Star Trek thing, perhaps. But I'm okay with that. Uh, it's a beautiful little model and I am happy to add it to my small but growing fleet of Star Trek shuttlecraft. The 
Jeffrey's concept shuttlecraft magazine is, you know, it's it's the size of an actual full-size magazine. So you have articles, you know, the shuttle that never was. And, oh, and so they have the original Matt Jeffries sketches that this model was based on. Beautiful. Um, looking forward to giving that a read and, uh, and to putting my old man reading glasses on and reading the, reading the accompanying, the similar accompanying magazine for the Orville shuttle. So that will be, that will be great. So there you have it, a little more shuttle diplomacy. Um, it's kind of a strange thing to home in on, on my Eagle Moss collection. As for what I have yet to receive from them, um, I pre-ordered the Cerritos from Star Trek Lower Decks because they had a special on that that knocked something like $15 off, which, yeah, that came in very handy. I'm not sure I would have sprung the full original asking price for a model that's going to sit on a shelf. So, um, the, the discount was very handy, but I'm sure the Cerritos is still in production. Um, I know Mike McMahon, creator of Star Trek Lower Decks, uh, recently showed off that he has the prototype of the model, uh, complete with this, <laughs> the name of the ship misspelled. So, the, um, the production models are probably still inbound from the manufacturer, and I will be able to show that off to you in due time. So thanks for watching, as always. Thanks to the Logbooks Patreon supporters. Thanks for everyone who retweets this stuff, spreads it around, shows it off to their friends. Um, pretty modest little operation here. And I just like sharing my enthusiasm for these things with other people of a like mind. The original amount asked for a model ship that's going to sh it's going to sit on my desk. Take two. <laughs>